Holy smokes, Patreon guys and gals. Hotter Sixer sauce is now available. Look at that stuff being made. Ooh, it's available. If you want it, log on to Patreon, sign up. It's available to all tiers. Today on Number 6 with Cheese, we're headed to the top wing joint in the United States according to the Today Show. This is Jake Melnick's, Corey's getting Kansas City barbecue boneless, I'm getting Nashville hot bone in, come along, River North, downtown Chicago, let's go. Smells good. All right, two orders of Jake Mill next wings, boneless and bone in, acquired jump cut. All right, Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's see what we got here and open them up. And that's them wings. Ew, gross carrots. Um, yeah, they look kind of standard wings. I don't know, not much to say about them. Wings, there's not much describing to do. Usually I have different ingredients to name off and stuff, but here I can just say that they have sauce. Yeah, that they do. Those look really good for boneless. Like, they look real crispy. I think they look pretty average for boneless, but. Different uh, strokes. Yeah. Then here's my Nashville hot, here's a drummy. You know I like those baseball bats covered in chicken. Pretty good crispiness, but yeah, they look kind of like a traditional bar wing. It'll be all about the taste. All right, Jake Melnick's Nashville KC barbecue. Cheers. Cheers. No crisp. That's good. I like the sauce, good Nashville hot. There's no crisp. Like when we get those wing stop wings, I'm so used to the bite on those, mm -hmm. the crunch. These are like very traditional bar wings that like back home in my town, like I didn't even know wings could have crisp. This is how they always were consistency wise. How's the sauce? It's all right. Nothing special. Mm hmm. It's like the chewiest meat. I don't know what it is. Yeah, mine's, I mean, it needs more of a crisp, like for my personal preference, like kind of chewy. I'm gonna try a flat. I've never had such chewy meat. <laughs> There's the flat. Look, I really feel like I can't say anything about it because I don't want to talk with my mouth while it takes like 15 minutes to chew on. <laughs> you have chicken gum in? Uh -huh. I mean, these are okay, but right. the best wings in the country? Mm hmm No way. Award winning. These aren't even the best wings in the city. These aren't even the best wings in the neighborhood. These aren't even as good as Wingstop wings. Somebody says you're the best wings in Chicago. They have it painted all over the building. You're really going in, like people are going in there with like, this is gonna be the best wing I ever have. Mm -hmm. I feel like this place has a really good rating like online too, like just as far as stars go. Well, um, sure it does. But let, let us know if you guys, we looked at this place, Corey said this like, such in the mid, the heart of River North, like probably such a big tourist spot, like because you can watch games in here. It's such a sports bar That's vibe. That's exactly what it is. It kind of feels that vibe. It'd be so good for that. That's exactly what I was gonna say. This looks like the look of it, the building, how it's designed, how it's decorated. Everything looks like it's built so that when people from name a state that doesn't have a city more with more than like a hundred thousand people come into Chicago for their big trip, this is where they come and they're like, oh, these are some good wings. This seems like a complete just like tourist, people who grow up with long driveways and big yards think this is like, now that's a real wing. I kind of worry because I like worry about tourists when they come here, they think they have, because you know, Giordano's is right there. Like yep. they have to get all the pizza places they hear everybody talk about. I'm telling you, man, do a little bit of research before and find more neighborhood style spots. I just always feel bad when people come here and they feel like they got to do the spots that have 5,000 reviews rather than the place that has 50 reviews or 500 reviews. Tourists are just going around looking and they're just like, well, I don't see no Fridays. And then they're like, well, that place looks like a place I could eat at. It just looks like, I think you're it right. It looks safe. It looks like a tavern. It doesn't look like anything that is like going to be so risky that you're going to have to try some stuff. Like, I don't want to go nowhere where they're going to have S car go. I ain't eat no snails. You know, there was a time when we built ships the size of cities. Men like my grandfather made this country. 
this. It just looks like a very safe bet. That, I think the word safe is really good. Like, you know they're gonna have so many beers. You know they're gonna have a huge menu so like the whole family can get something there. Like, it does. It looks like a place that could be in any mid-tier town. Like, the way they designed it on the outside, it looks intentional, it looks inviting and safe. That's yeah. a good word. Yeah, it's okay. It's yeah. If they didn't tell me they were, if they weren't, if Matt Lauer wasn't out there diddling ladies and saying that these are the best wings in, in the country, then I probably wouldn't have like, be so prepared for great wings. And I feel really let down because I thought I was gonna get the best wings in the country. Mm -hmm. And I like wing stop wings better than this. So, I don't know, it's all right. These wings are weirdly chewy. Now the question is, did it come with any wet naps? Yes. Okay, thank God. See, there you go. All right, you get points for that. <laughs> There's where your points are. It came with a moist towelette. What a sad right? excuse to get a positive review. <laughs> well, they had wet naps. They were prepared on the takeout. Good, though? I like to go to places based off whether or not the food is good. Look, I don't want to be disparaging, so just take the wet nap, nap compliment and move along. <laughs> Tourists come in town and they can't go one day without seeing their home team play a game of sports ball. Yeah. And so they come here because it says, catch the big game. Catch the big game. And they're like, oh yeah, dude, I can't miss a Hoosiers basketball game. And then they just pop on in here and they're like, man, this is vacation life. Like, wait, wouldn't you just be eating wings in your couch if we weren't here? Yeah, but I like doing the same stuff in my living room, but at bigger places. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I feel like that'd be something where like I'd have like an extended family member would tell me like, hey, uh, Aunt Janine's coming to visit in Chicago. She, she wanted to know if you want to meet at Jake Melnick's. And I'd be like, can I suggest a different place? Oh, yeah, right. And she'd be like, she loves that. I'm like, Okay, if you, I'll, I'll, I'll swing by for a burger. You guys are wondering why I hate touristy places. It's because my military friends came in town and made me eat at goddamn Margaritaville in the greatest food city in the world. And my tourist ass military friends are, let's go eat at Margaritaville. They went to Navy Pier? Is Ew. that where it was? Yeah. Yeah, wow. So I have a huge disdain for tourist trap places. <laughs> Margaritaville is a state of mind. It's a place where people come to get away from wherever they were at. So it's a combination of fun, escapism, some booze in the blender, great food on the grill, cheeseburgers in paradise, obviously. Like moments like that have happened in my life and I was dreaming about, you know, Red Hot Ranch, yeah, the region, you know, Tempesta, like there's just so many awesome places we could eat at. You get stuck in a place like this, it makes you want to kill yourself. I'm gonna kill myself! Wow. I'm going to kill myself and it's your fault! <laughs> This is a great place for people who like the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> well, if your dad watched Frasier a lot growing up. He's super excited about the reboot. Yeah. They'll probably have a Frasier watch party here. Yeah. It was not pretty. <laughs> All right, before we go ahead and rate the wings that we each had here today, let's do a shout out. Discord shout out, Discord shout out, Discord shout out. Number six with cheese, Discord is the place to be, dude. It's like uh, an AIM chat room in a way, but it's all the hardcore fans hanging out. If you want to uh, meet all the diehards of the show, it's really become this awesome com community of people that just kind of chat all day long. What are you smoking this weekend uh, on, the, on the smoker? What are you drinking? What's everybody's hangover special Sunday morning? Like, people are just hanging out, talking. It's really cool. People will jump on FaceTime and Zoom calls and just chat. If you're looking for some friends, <laughs> if you're looking for good people, uh, the link is below to sign up on Discord. It's super easy. Just make a username, whatever, and boom. It's like you're back in 1999 and age sex location, dude, but cooler. Okay, um, <laughs> let's do this. Uh, out of five, what's like a really common thing that's always in every like hometown sports bar? Like really, like a, um, like a neon Michelob Ultra sign. There you go. Out of five neon Michelob signs, how many neon Michelob signs do you give the KC Barbecue Boneless Wings? Uh, an order of 10 of those was $15. Okay, a little pricey. It's not It's not as bad as I'm making it seem. It's just so, there's better, like don't eat here. So like if you, if you think this is the number one chicken wings, then, it's, then it is bad. If you're just looking at like, oh, I just want some chicken wings, these are okay, these are fine. They're just not everything they're cracked up to be. So I'll just give it like a, man, I still think they're kind of above average because they were so weirdly chewy. The flavor was okay, but I just had to chew so much. I'll give them a 2.4. Boo. I thought the Nashville hot was really good. A good sweetness with the spice, which was really nice. Damn it, I rhymed. It was just exactly what I expected expected like a sports bar in River North to be. Like it's not output, it's not 50-50. It's not those type of places where like you take a bite and you're like instantly like, wow, this, there's some unique properties here. 
This is the average sports town, sports bar wing. I'm gonna go 3.0. Yay. Like little claps. Um, let us know if you guys have had Jake Melnick's, uh, what you thought of it. Um, I mean, man, if I was walking around downtown on like a weeknight, as a two, like I live a few streets away, and I wanted somewhere where I know there's gonna be a bar stool open for me to snag a beer and watch the game, like non-pandemic times, this spot would be great for that. I just wouldn't order oh. wings. I would get beers and sit there and post up, belly up to the bar, and enjoy that. Like, that would be a blast. And they were super nice in there. So all those things, like... This would not be a place I would come to watch a sporting event. <laughs> Down just It seems like that's the only thing they do. This that's why like, I said weekday. Ugh. Hoping that, like, a Tuesday, there's not as many people. Oh, this would be my nightmare. But let us know if you guys had this. What do you think? Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Back on Corey's couch. No. Ooh, fun thing, Corey moved, a uh, new location, you'll find out tomorrow. Come on back, goodbye.